all right so now that we know the implementation part of lcs in this video what we are going to be doing it coding the solution of this problem so i'll assume that you guys are already familiar with what lcs is and how to approach it so if you don't know i recommend you to watch my previous video where i have explained the lcs problem and i'll also request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have liked my content so far and want me to upload more videos more frequently so with that being said let's move on solving this problem so i have opened a custom test where i will be coding the solution and let's see what the input format looks like so we have s and t on different lines so let me take the input and also zoom in a little bit so s and t so i have taken the input next thing is we need to have the length of both string and this will be represented by nnm so i have n and i have m as well so next thing is we have to initialize all the element of dp array as zero and what will be the dimension of dp array it will be dp of n plus 1 and m plus 1 so this i have already explained in the previous video so let me initialize every element as 0 Yeah, so I have each element of DP array as zero. Okay, let's see what we have to do next. So this is the first string and this is the second string. And if either of the first characters are zero, then we can't find any common characters. So the first column, I mean this one, is zero and first row is also zero. And I have properly explained this thing in the previous video so our loop will start from i is equal to 1 till n and j is equal to 1 till m for a second string and let me do this here so similarly for the second string Now let's see what will happen if both the characters are equal. So if A and A are equal, then we'll do one plus whatever the best we can do by remaining character of a string one and a string two that is here, that is I minus one, J minus one. So if we do S of And why I have done i minus one because we our string is start from zero in this. So we have to compare the first character which is at in this zero. That's why it is i minus one. Now I'll just simply like write the DP relation. okay so this is taken care now if the both the characters are not equal i mean take this condition s and a then what is the best we can do by excluding h that is i minus one comma j or what is the best we can do by excluding this character from a string two that is i comma j minus one that is this so i just have to copy this dp formula for that so if we exclude the i at character that means i minus one comma j or 
if we exclude the z character that will be j minus 1 so this is done now we'll have the dp array field so once we have this we'll have 3 here and from 3 we have to see where this 3 value comes from so it would have come from this all this all this okay now we'll have some result where we'll install the final result and now we'll start from last uh, row and column that will be i will be equal to n and j will be equal to m and we'll have a loop so let's see where the loop will go so i shouldn't at c0 and j similarly shouldn't at c0 so i'll have while i less than 0 and j less than equal to less than 0 now we'll have three conditions that is this one this one and this one this is this is represented by i comma j minus 1 so if my current position that is dp of i j equal to equal to dp of i comma j minus 1 then we'll simply go to that position that is this so that is i is equal to i minus 1 now similarly if our current position is equal to this position that is i minus 1j then we'll go one step up okay so our last condition will be we move diagonal and for that we'll go to else part and remember I told you when we move diagonal we'll include that character and suppose if we move from B to H B is included and similarly if we move from Y to B Y is included and everything is appended in front so for that I have to include in front so if this is the character then append in the two front it done by something like this and now we have to move diagonal that is i minus 1 and j minus 1 so i think this should give me the answer and let me just see if i've done everything correctly okay i have just messed up this thing so if uh, it's j minus 1 then this should be j and this should be i so if we try to print it a y b and i think this is one of the solution so i think this is correct so let me just copy and try to run for all the test cases and let's see what happens so i think this should be accepted so yeah this is getting accepted that's all from my side if you like my video please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.